So talk about foundation a little bit, uh, why you use it, what type to use, whether or not you want to use it at all. Uh, it's another one of those great beekeeping questions that can't really be answered because you can do whatever you want. Uh, so let me tell you what I do. And this comes from the little bit of experience that I've had, what I've found I prefer, what I like, and what works best for me. Um, the simplest thing to do as a beginner is to just run foundation. Use all uh, some sort of plastic based foundation. My preference for a plastic foundation is uh, Right Cell. It's made, well, Right Cell I think might be the Man Lake trade name, maybe. Uh, but I think it's made by Pureco. But it's a plastic foundation. It's a, it's a pretty thick foundation. Um, plastic foundation stamped with a honeycomb pattern um, and coated with a thin layer of beeswax. I really like the Right Cell because it's. It's, uh, the plastic has you know, some elasticity to it to where you can bend it and snap it into a frame and snap it back out if you want. Um, I use plastic right cell in all of my medium honey supers and I, I really I, I keep it on hand in the deeps in case I have somebody that wants to buy a deep off of me and they want foundation in it but I don't actually use I don't make a habit of using uh, foundation in my deeps myself. So, like I said, I prefer the plastic right cell if I'm gonna use foundation. I've worked with what's called the Duragilt brand. Um, it's a thinner piece of plastic, but it's still a plastic-based foundation. Much thinner, uh, still stamped with a honeycomb pattern, coated with beeswax, and it has metal, metal strips on either side of the piece of foundation. And the problem that I have with that is that because it's metal and not plastic, on the edges for rigidity, you can't bend it and snap it into a frame and snap it back out. What's going to happen is the um, the metal kinks on you. It bends and it deforms plastically, not like plastic. Plastic deformation being irreversible deformation. Um, and so you get that little crimp in the metal. You can't bend that back out and then your foundation doesn't stay tight in your frame. And so I have a lot of this stuff, frames that I have sitting around and then they, you know, it wants to sag on you and warp on you. It doesn't have a whole lot of strength. If the bees don't attach it right away, you're gonna have problems. So I do not like Duragil. I do not recommend it. Um, nothing personal against the company. I just haven't had good luck with the product. So what I what I do on my deep boxes, and I don't recommend this for beginners until y'all know what you're up against and what you're getting into, is I actually run foundation less. I strap all of my all of my deep frames, I start them off with a starter strip of pure beeswax foundation, about three inches, two to three inches thick, the width of the frame. And uh, it's just a it's medium sized brood foundation I get from Man Lake, again, pure beeswax. And I cut it into narrow strips, and then I stick those strips in the top of the frame. I use a molten beeswax with a paintbrush to secure that foundation in the frame so it doesn't fall out. And I really like doing that. I like that natural aspect of letting the bees build the comb that they want to build. Uh, plus, if I ever have to cut that foundation out, it's super easy. I don't run any wires through it. I don't run any pins. I don't run anything not natural. It's just natural comb. Uh, no strings or nothing. So it makes it real easy for me to go in there later and uh, cut that wax out if I want to you know, get some fresh foundation in there for them. I get some fresh beeswax in there for them or if I want them to um, Oh, I lost my train of thought. Yeah, but I just want to swap it out because it's getting old or whatever. So, like I said, that's my preference. Pure beeswax foundation starter strips. You just need to be careful with that when you're first setting the hive up. Make sure they don't cross comb it. But once you get them started on a, once you get them started on a good square comb, good straight lines, um, you're not going to have any problems with it. So it's just a matter of getting them started off right. But anyway, just a little quick talk on foundation. Hope that answers some of y'all's questions. Uh, certainly hit me up with comments on what you're thinking, what you might want to try. Uh, like I said, you know, I'm not trying to be arrogant on here on how I make recommendations for beginners versus experienced folks, but I'm being honest with y'all. I started, I've done a lot of stuff on my own, I've learned a lot along the way. So certainly don't be afraid to ask. And when you're taking experience from the, when you're taking advice from an experienced beekeeper, make sure they're telling you all the ins and outs of what you might run into. So anyway, I gotta cut it off here. I'm at the feed store. I gotta pick up some stuff for my chickens and it's raining outside, which sucks because I'm gonna go outside and get wet. But anyway, y'all have fun. Let me know if you have any questions.